So now we talk about uh, hydrostatic particulars. What are hydrostatic particulars? Hydrostatic particulars are the characteristics of the uh, submerged part or the displacement part, the displaced volume part of the ship or any floating object. So when object is floating like this ship or a box or a barge, then the, 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 the parts that is underwater, that is from the water line here below, okay, it has a shape. It has uh, certain characteristics. So that characteristic is shown or is uh, represented by what we call as hydrostatic particulars. So the particulars, number one, it only occurs when the ship is considered to be in water. So there is a draft. When there is no draft, for example, the ship is uh, uh, dry, uh, is on the, the shipyard uh, slipway, for example, then there is nothing that, that can be called hydrostatic particulars for it. But once it touches water, it touches water, then it has draft. So that draft will make up uh, the shape of the underwater uh, volume, see the displaced volume, and that displaced volume has got characteristics. That characteristic is called hydrostatic particulars. So it will depend on the draft. So for example, for this particular draft, there is a set of hydrostatic particulars. But once the ship is floating at a deeper draft or a shallower draft, for example, a shallower draft, say, so now if the ship is not heavy, so it's floating at this draft, then it has its own sets of hydrostatic particulars. Right, what are the hydrostatic particulars? Hydrostatic particulars will consist of, uh, can be divided into two sets, which is related to either the shape of this water plane here, water plane area here, or the volume itself. The volume itself. So, for example, now if we take this one, the water plane, and you draw it, you look from above, then you see something like this. This is something that you have been drawing in your half breath plan, in your lines plan drawing. Yeah. So, for example, for this particular water line only, for this particular draft, you have this shape. Of course, once you have uh, other uh, other water lines, then you have different shapes. Yeah. So, for example, for a lower a lower water line, then you have something like this, maybe. Okay, so now for, just for this particular water line, say for example, this is 5 meter water line. Okay, so this is water plane at 5 meters, yeah, 5 meter water plane. That's the shape. It is for one water plane, one, uh, one shape. And because of one shape, it has one set of particulars. So what are the particulars that is related to water plane, uh, this water plane here? So number one, of course, is water plane area, WPA, water plane area, the, the area of this water plane itself. So AW, sometimes given the uh, symbol AWP or AW, that is the water plane area itself. So that area will be, it, it is one part of hydrostatic particulars. And then you have, of course, uh, from there you can get the CWP, which is water plane area coefficient, the area divided by the box around it. And uh, you have TPC which is the water plane area multiplied by uh, the density divided by 100, TPC. And you have the LCF. You find where is the LCF here, which is the center of flotation, okay? which is the center of the area itself. So, and of, uh, the other two things are IL, which is the uh, longitudinal second moment of area about the, about the midship. So if this is midship, so IL is so we, we find IL is about I about this midship. And we found we find I sorry, not 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 I midship, but this is IT. IT is the shape uh, is the I, which is second moment of area about the center line, which is this one. So IT is equal to I center line. I center line. Okay. So that's that's only related to the water plane area. Now, as far as volume is concerned, this volume that's displaced, we find the area, the volume of it. So we find the volume. We find the, from there you can find the, 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 the weight displacement by multiplying by density. And then from the volume, you can get CP, you can get CB, you get CM, block coefficient, prismatic coefficient. And uh, from the area in midship, you can get the uh, area midship of CM, the coefficient of midship. And you can get KB, you can get B, so, for example, if B is here, then you can find where is the KB, K to B, and LCB, the distance, that distance. So, that is, all these are all hydrostatic particulars. It's related to that volume that has been, that has been immersed in water. 
Okay, so as we said, this will change. Now I, we go to this this part, which is a bit uh, uh, a bit more a bit more complicated, but it's okay. So the the uh, these are only related to the volume, and these are related to the area. But this one and this one, if you add them together, you can get another three hydrostatic particles, which is B M T, the distance from B. B, so for example, this is B to M T here, okay, which is metacentric height, transverse metacentric height from B to M T, and from B to M L, M L is somewhere up here, very high, M L. So how to find B M T? You need I L or I T, and you need volume displacement, so you can find B M T B M L. This is explained in our notes 2.12.2. You can look at the notes in section 212.2. It explains how we use ILIT to calculate volume displacement. And MCTC also uh, need to be calculated by using uh, IL and also volume displacement. So with that, you can see the formula in 212.3, 2.12.3, how to calculate MCTC. So this is the overall big picture for hydrostatic particulars, right? So, for, uh, for a ship, it is quite complicated to calculate this area. Yeah, this one we are going to learn in uh, Naval Architecture 2 next semester, okay? If you pass this, this class. But, um, and also for the volume displacement also, it's quite, difficult, it's quite difficult to calculate for a ship as the knowledge that you have now. But if it is just a box, for example, so just a box, Okay, you can easily calculate the hydrostatic particulars of a box because you can calculate area, for example, area of a box, area of a plane of a box is just L times B. Okay, the CWP is 1 because the area divided by box 1. TPC is area times density divided by 100. LCF for a box, the center of flotation is the center of area is at midship. So you can get for the box, you can easily get the, 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 the particulars at various drafts. And almost similar, some, uh, all the drafts are similar for a box. IL and IT also you can easily calculate. You can use formula in 2.12.1 okay, to calculate for a box, for circles, uh, for circles, cylinders, and so on. And uh, also all these volume related uh, particulars is also easy to, e easy to calculate for a box. And not only for a box, if it is for a cylinder, for a cone, for uh, a triangle, triangular object like what we do, well, what we did in our test, yeah. Uh, also, it's quite easy to calculate all this without without having to go through naval architecture two. You can easily calculate the volume displacement, the CB, CP, CM, and so on for your particular object if the object is uniform like this. It's quite easy and simple. But once the shape is a, it has a shape like a ship, then you need naval architecture to uh, techniques or methods to calculate it. So as for now, you can use use this. So in your project for your um, uh, your your floating structure co uh, competition, okay, you you can calculate your hydrostatic particulars for your object by using all these simple formula because most of your structures will be either a cylinder or a box like this. So you can approximate that into a box or cylinder and you can calculate approximate hydrostatic particulars. Of course, you cannot get it uh, very accurate, but it's okay. At least you can get an, an idea of hydrostatic particulars of the object.